Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, my friends. We're on our 31st episode, and once again, a whopping massive thank you for this insane amount of support you guys showed in the last episode. Very, very much appreciated. Now, obviously, last episode, episode 30, we had the live stream, and we also had the edited down version of the video. Now... I'm going to put a poll on screen for you guys because I'm interested to know whether you would like me to do that for any future streams I do in Ark Survival Evolved. So let's say, for example, another milestone episode comes along, let's say the 40th episode, and then I do a stream for that. Would you guys like an edited down version of that as well, or would you rather just have the stream? Poll on screen, I'd be very interested in knowing your guys' opinions. But as always, guys, just before we start, if you guys are hyped for this episode, please do not forget to drop a big fat thumbs up. It would be super, super appreciated because it's the best way of letting me know that you guys are still super, super hyped for the series. I certainly am. This is the furthest I've ever got on Ark Survival Evolved. And I am feeling good, Mr. Triceratops. I'm feeling very good indeed. I'm feeling fantastic. And also, I'm feeling fantastic because I've been a busy beast since the last episode. As you can see, I have my Argentavis here, and I also have my Beelze Buffo here from the mountain base. I decided to uh, bring them over, which is really, really awesome. Aside from that, we've got a Tyranodon Ankylo and our Godzilla Therizino, which is now level 150, which is pretty awesome. I've also done some work on the interior. Not too much, but some. You know, we've still got the smithy there. We've got ourselves a bed here at long last, so, you know, should we wind up dying, then, you know, it's not the end of the world. And then if we head upstairs, this is our storage area. Now, as you can see, what I've tried to do is sort of categorize a bunch of these chests into clusters in that we have ourselves a bunch of resource chests here wood thatch fiber stone flint metal and then animal stuffs things like keratin chitin pelt hide all that sort of stuff over here i haven't quite uh, worked on these ones yet but the ones over here we have ourselves saddle and armor and then tools and weapons and then obviously out here with the growth of all of these things we have some various other bits and bobs as well you know some savo root for example which is pretty awesome can i like see what's in there please all right there's nothing in there so far okay what about here hey there's a savo root over there awesome hey not bad not bad but guys today in today's episode, what I would like to do, now that I've got my full fur armor back, I would love to go back to Dead Island, and I would love to take on that cave once again. Now, of course, before doing that, I just want to remind myself of what exactly the repair requirements are. Five hide, one wood, 15 metal. Right, okay, so, uh, 15 metal, if I just do that a whole bunch... I can just uh, get a bunch like that. There we go. One wood is actually a very low amount indeed, isn't it? Okay. One wood is plenty. And then, of course, five bits of hide. And there we go. And once again, the great thing about the sword is you do not need to have a smithy in order to repair it. It can just be repaired straight off the rip, which is awesome, might I say as well. So, yeah. But, yeah, like I said, guys, now that I've got my fur armor, we should be able to survive there a lot longer, hopefully. And, of course, we're going to take our Tyranodon over there, and hopefully all will be good. We've got a decent amount of food. We've got a decent amount of water as well. And we've got a decent amount of ammo for our various weapons. So, ladies and gentlemen... The other thing I wanted to mention, of course, is the idea that uh, now that we've set up a base in the Hidden Lake area, it's actually a lot nearer to Dead Island, which is its official name, apparently, guys. It's its official name. It's a lot closer to Dead Island, you know, Carno Island, and therefore the cave, right? So, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I should probably turn down Gamma as well, because it is a little bit on the bright side, isn't it? Talking of the bright side, look at this! The bright side of life has produced for us a beacon of awesomeness. Right, good day to you, sir. What have you got inside you? Uh, uh that's not useful at all, is it? Let's just, let's just not. <laughs> oh, man. One thing I've never known, actually, and I'd love for you guys to tell me whether it's true or not in the comments area below. Do you get XP for looting loot beams? If so, then I may have been missing out on a bunch of free XP, right? In which case, I've been a massive dum-dum. Which is, you know, I'm a big dumb dumb anyway, but you know what I'm saying. It's just one of those things, isn't it? But here we go, my friends. We are heading our way over to Dead Island. We're going to explore the cave. It's hopefully going to be a nice, easy episode. Next episode after this one, I would love to try and tame something that's really high-end. Maybe a Quetzal, maybe a Rex. Something like that. I have no idea. Again, I'd love to... Oh, that is... Uh, talking of Rexes, there's one right there. Jesus God. Oh, man, I don't want to go on the wrong side of that bad boy. <laughs> In fact, talking of which, can I just... I'd quite like to see what rank he is, actually. 12? 
Is that it? That's an embarrassingly low rank. I ain't gonna tame that. It's not even worth my time. He's gonna have some awful stats. That's what's going on there. Alright, so, the cave, as far as I can remember, is just back here? Is it? Is it just back here? Oh, crap. I can't actually remember. Is it here? Oh, boy. Well, uh, uh, that's great. I can't actually remember, guys. Uh, huh. Well, uh, uh, Derpy Python strikes again, huh? Oh, uh, wait, hang on a minute. No, this might be it here. Yeah, it is, boys. Yeah, it is. All right, here we go. Let's get you placed in there. All right, buddy. Hopefully, I mean, I'm hoping he'll be all right there. I don't think... I'll put him on neutral just in case, but I don't see a reason why he should be getting, like, killed a whole bunch, right? But anyways, guys, we are heading back into the caves. Hopefully, we can get some cool thi- Wait, really? Is it just because I'm in water? Wait, hang on a minute. Where the devil am I? Oh, God. Oh, God. Where am I? Have I just gone round in a loop? Oh, no. We are- Oh! Okay. Hi there, sirs. Okay. Boom! All right, you bunch of poos! Go on! Onik! Get off me, bro! Oh, they're all dead. Oh, jeez! Good God! Good day, sir! I will strike you down! Come up! Oh, Jesus! There's a bunch of Aranios as well! Can you die? Wait, what the hell is that guy? Aranio? Wait! It said put food in last slot to tame. Are Aranios a passive tame or are the Onyx a passive tame? Oh, Jesus God. Lord above. Oh, my God. Um, uh, yeah. This is great. I can see very, very well right now, guys. Right, come on, then, you bunch of poos. I don't know how long this is going to take, if I'm entirely honest with you guys. But, uh, hey-ho. We've just got to go for it. Ah, right. Well, there's one Aranio out of the game. Let's get all the other ones out of the game, huh? Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Hello? What are you? Hello? Hi. I think I'm... Oh, oh. He's coming in the water. What is he? A Megalosaurus sleep debt? What the hell is sleep debt? Hey, buddy! Oh, wait. I might just be able to kill him like this. <laughs> oh, Megalosaurus. Why are you even trying... Get out of here. Go on. Off you go there, broski. Wait, do you have anything? Ooh, he's got some ammo. Hey, I mean, other... Ooh. Hey, another metal hatchet as well. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, why not? I'll take some of that. That's brilliant. I didn't know that Megalosaurus has spawned in here. So, that's great. Hey guys, check it out. So there's a bunch of onyx there, but there's also a loot chest down there. Can you guys see that? There's a freaking loot chest. How the crap do I even get down there without dying? There's got to be a way, right? I mean, parachutes were recommended for this cave, right? So, uh, huh. I don't know. Maybe we should try and lure some of these guys out and try and kill them a whole bunch and stuff. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've just unleashed a horde at this point. Oh, God. What the hell have I done? Oh, God! Okay. Uh, back way off. Back way off. Back way off. Okay. You coming up there, buddy? You coming up? Come on. You've got some poning to do. Or I do as well. Go, get, get out of here. Oh, my God. Okay, there we go. Wow, some of those guys are like level 100 plus, dude. What the crap? Wow, that is pretty nuts. All right, and now we've got, some, got a bunch of onyx around there as well. Dude, this is... Oh, wow, I just realized my health as well. Ah, uh, I need to regenerate my health quickly. That's what I need to do. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm not looking so hot. All right, there's like four of them coming. Wait, are they even coming over? Oh, right, there's one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here they come. Here they come. Oh, Jesus God! Get out of it! Oh, level 68. Okay. Dude, the amount of guys I'm taking down today is unbelievable. Holy mother of God. Oh, hello. Hey, some more ammo. <laughs> I'm using my ammo, but then I get it right back. Do you know what? I'll take that. I'll roll with it. Hell yeah, boys. Go on, get out of here, you bunch of poos. Go on. Go on. 
Dude, this pike is actually pretty damn good. Oh my god, that guy. <laughs> Did you see the way he died? What the crap? Oh my word. Hello! You want to come over here too? My journeyman thi- Oh my god. My journeyman pike is wrecking shop, guys. This is amazing. Right. I feel like- Oh, hello. Oh, hey, it's a wild dung beetle, level 108. That could be worth taming at some point. Put taming food in last slot. Feed raw meat. 6%?! Oh my god. That guy's gonna take about five years to freaking tame, bro. What the crap?! Now, when he goes, we're about to get this guy tamed, and at its current rate, it's gonna be level 155. Which is very nice. Hell to the air. Right, so, I mean, I could go ahead and just pick this guy up, but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna have him just stay here, I guess. I just want you to stay there. Uh, whistle passive, you'll stay there, and everything will be okay, okay? Level 155 is pretty good, which actually kind of reminds me, I forgot to mention in the last episode that I actually raised the difficulty level all the way up to the maximum of 1.0, which is why I'm getting all of these high-level people to now. So, yeah. Earlier on in the series, yeah, we did, you know, decrease the difficulty and then we raised it again. But, you know, considering this is my first ever proper playthrough of Ark Survival Evolved, you guys will have to give me a little bit of slack. Obviously, when Season 2 rolls around, where we try out a different map, then, uh, yeah, we'll just have it on one di difficulty from the outset and we can just go from there. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, that guy's all good. And we are just about ready to do this thing. I've also gone ahead and got myself a bunch of materials so I can make some parachutes. So that's pretty awesome. I'm tempted to parachute down there if I can. Well, I'm saying that. There are some dudes down there. So it might be worth trying to do a little bit of that. Maybe I can get them to come up. Yep, there we go. There's one coming up. Hello! How you doing there, brother? All right, here we go. Pikes! No! Jeez! Get, get out of here. Okay. Everything's looking good. Everything's okay. Oh, jeez. Someone's coming up. Hello. 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 Good day to you, sir. Oh, God. C come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, my God. I've got him. What? I've got mega rabies. I'm going to die from that. Hang on. I don't think I can counteract that. Oh, no. Oh no, we could be in serious trouble here. Eh? What if I eat? Actually, that regenerates it slightly. Oh god, that's a minute though, guys. Oh my god, this is this is heart wrenching to watch. What's gonna go down first? What's gonna run out first? My health or the timer? At this point, I think it's gonna be the timer. In which case, we will now have very very low health going throughout this cave. Which doesn't sound very good. I'm going to be completely frank with you guys. Dude, you got to let me know. How the heck do you go ahead and counteract the freaking mega rabies? Is there like some sort of repellent? Is it bug repellent? I mean, I wouldn't class these guys as bugs. I mean, they're bats, right? I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty, guys. So, I've got a parachute. My health is looking pretty okay. 330, just over half. I'm not entirely sure how parachutes work, whether they automatically just get used. I'm hoping that's the case, but if not, then I've got zero at the ready, should I need it. I'm nervous about this, considering I've never ever used a parachute in the history of me playing Ark. Oh, for the love of God, don't let me mess this up. Oh! Okay! <gasps> no, no! Oh my god, I almost just fell to my death through that little crevasse right there. Okay, so confirmed. Um, uh, parachutes do not automatically activate. I'm glad I know that now. Holy guacamole. Right, what have we got in here? Ooh. Apprentice Raptor Saddle. Don't mind if I do. What's this? Ramshackle Wooden Club. Is that really worth that? Uh, might as well. Might as well, right? How much does it weigh? Two? It's not much, is it, guys? It's not much. 
Alrighty, folks, so I have been hard at work, like properly, properly hard at work. I managed to find my way out. You just pretty much go along the the sides of this place, basically, and it just sort of goes up. The only thing is there was a bit of a gap there. I was lucky enough to already have some wood on me, and therefore I was able to make myself some thatch ceilings and thatch foundations and whatnot so I could bridge the gap there and therefore get back. So things are looking good. I've got myself a whole bunch of resources here. Uh, some of it I don't even think I'm going to need. Uh... Flint, yeah, wood, probably, yeah, but maybe not that amount. Uh, but everything else, I think, is pretty good to go. So, yeah, okay. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty damn happy with this. I now have a reliable way of getting up and down this place, which is really, really awesome. So, there we go. And we head over here, over this little ridge. And then we just sort of head our way down. So... So, here we go, my friends. Uh, we could just jump up here to get on that little ridge. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I always think that there's more ridges than there actually is, you know? Do you know what I mean? It's kind of strange, isn't it? Anyways, let's continue on. And there's the foundation. And, yeah. Things are looking good, guys. So, we can actually continue exploration and things are looking good. Now, I did consider just going ahead and parachuting down there now that I have full health. But uh, there is rather a lot of guys down there, guys. There is rather a lot of them. So, I think at the very least what I would very much like to do is get all of those onyx out of there. But then again, we could also just do the old-fashioned way of doing things and just sort of walk along the sides and try to find our way down, huh? Uh, so, yeah, we follow our way down here. Now, I did research this cave, and apparently there is a type of dino that sticks to the wall and just pounces on you from the wall. Rather similar to those cat things in the freaking redwood forest, right? I'm not looking forward to encountering that, I must admit, but, uh, you know... It's just one of those things, isn't it? If it happens, it happens. We've got ourselves some decent weapons, so we should hopefully be able to fend off the horde, as it were. Uh, but yeah, for now, all is looking well. Okay, plenty of obsidian. All right, here we go. We've got ourselves our next load of onyx to take on. Good day to you, sirs. Ha boom! Go on. Go on. Go on. Get wrecked, you bunch of butts. Can you, like, actually get shot, please? Wait, what the heck? Is my aim really that bad? Oh, there we go. That's all I needed. Yeah. Okay, okay. And pike time. Pike time. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Another couple out of the game. So, I also researched the fact that apparently those guys have a 10% chance of inflicting the super rabies. There is a cure to it, which is like a anti anti thing, antidote thing, but uh, I don't know if I've even got the recipe for it yet. Uh, was it antidote? Yeah, lesser antidote. Narcotic leech blood slash horns. Uh, leeches, I do believe, are found in swamps. So, yeah, I haven't actually obtained any leech blood yet, so that's going to be interesting to find. Rare flowers and rare mushrooms are both gotten from my Therizina, which is really, really awesome. And then, uh, obviously, narcotics are easy to get as well. So, yeah, certainly once I get back, it would be a good idea for me to go ahead and get all of that stuff, huh? But here we go, my friends. Check it out. We're getting really close now. We're getting really, really close. If I could get myself a little bit more ammo... In fact, no, since I've now got flint... Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, ammo for the Pythonator. Do you know what? I am feeling pretty good about this. I thought that I would just die a horrible death. I nearly did due to those freaking rabies. But, you know, aside from that, I'm all right. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Aranio. Oh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. They were both low levels. Good. Good. Today's a good day. Right. Now then. The artifact is down there. I don't know if there's any more loot crates. Could it be worth me having just a little look down here? Oh, hello. Oh, there's an explorer note there. Okay. Uh, much else? I mean, there's a pulmono down there. There's like, there's plenty of pe peeps to take down. Huh. Okay. I mean, all we can do is just progress onwards. Oh, good day, she says. Oh, Jesus. Good Lord. Okay, right. We're going to have ourselves a bit of a, a meme going on here, guys. Oh my god, there's three of them. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh no, my faux armor is getting, getting killed. God, jeez, good god above. Oh, okay. Somehow I didn't contract the rabies. Do you know what? I am not going to complain about that. Holy moly. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. 
Have a little bit of water, a little bit of food. Let's get ourselves back up to scratch, boys. Hey, right, any of these got like an inventory on them? Uh, drag body? No? Nah? Well, that's a bit disappointing, isn't it? Right, what's going on down here? Oh, mate. Mate, I don't feel good about this place, man. I really don't feel good about this place. Right. Not seeing anyone over there. Not in the immediate vicinity, anyway. It's to the left we need to go. Oh my god. Oh my god! Dude, there's like 50,000 dudes there! What the crap?! Hello! Hi! My name is Python! Dude, are you seeing the amount of freaking pominoes there? What the crap?! Okay, they're coming! They're coming! Duh! No, no, no! Oh no! I'll be tranquilized! You freaking jerkbag! Wait, hang on a minute. That's not gonna go up too high, is it? Oh no, that's right! Yeah, one of my armor pieces ran out! Oh no! And I put my pelt back in the freaking chest at the base! Uh oh. Mistakes were made. Oh my god, that goes level 112. Uh, this might take a while. Would it be just quicker for me to do... <laughs> Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Jesus, good god above. Okay. Mate, my armor has taken a serious beating. Obviously, the chest plate being the uh, exception to that, considering it's journeyman. Oh my god. Mate. And we've still got a bunch of dudes to take down. Luckily, our health is still looking pretty all right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're quite right to poop, buddy. Quite right to poop. I would genuinely be pooping myself as well if I was going up against these freaking large-ass scorpions in real life. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this guy's got an inventory. Hey, more ammo. Ooh, leggings. Nah, not really needed, to be honest. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Did not think you would be there. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I can't do anything! Do I have any- I can't do anything! I'm dead! I'm dead! I need stim berries, huh? Uh, the good news is I've got an Argentavis so I can get over to the island. Hmm, okay. We can try this thing, but I don't know how it's gonna go. Come on, you bugger. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. There it is! Okay, can I repair this stuff? Oh no, it needs to be repaired as smithy. Oh no. Okay, uh, well, the good news is I'm not losing health from, uh, you know, lack of temperature anymore, which I guess is okay. But, yeah. We still, still don't have, like, three bits of armor. Right, uh, good day to you, sir. I mean, we'll still get meat from you, right? 130, good god. You trying to say I'm fat or something? What the crap? Right, uh, the good news is, I've got pelt with me, I've also got stim berries with me, right? Uh, the stim berries, of course, are used to fend off the torpidity that I may wind up succumbing to. Um, wait, where the hell is everybody? What the hell? Bro. Yo, legit, where the hell is everybody? They don't think... There's no one here. What the crap? I'll take an explore now. Hey, Megalosaurus. Makes sense, considering that's this is where we find them. 
Wow. Dude, legit, seriously, where the hell is everybody? I mean, that's got to be the artifact, right? Oh, baby, it's the artifact, all right. There's also an explorer nut up here. Hey, <laughs> make that number two. We have ourselves a Mesopithecus. Nice. Okay, anything else for anything else? Oh, my God. Artifact inventory. What is it? The artifact of the devourer. Holy Jesus. Well, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. This game's done. Mate, I actually did it. <laughs> oh, man, I'm feeling good about it, man. My second cave completion. I'm feeling pretty damn good about it, folks. I really, really am. Okay, so. Uh, where we fell down before... Oh, wait, starving. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's fend that off, huh? There we go. Where I fell down before, there was an explorer note. I can't remember if I actually opened it or not because I was too busy panicking. Uh, might be worth me heading back up, though, and finding out. I will be honest, when I came back here... There were some people who respawned, but none of them on the floor? Like, legit, I was coming down here, uh, there was like, maybe like two little clusters of pulmonos, and then maybe a cluster or two of uh, those onyx. But then there's nothing on the floor, and I'm just sat here, I'm like, wait, what? I mean, you know what they say, I mean, I'm not going to complain about it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right, where was that? It was below, I think. Yeah, it's down there. Look, 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 look. Okay, here we go. Let's try the parachute out. Okay. There we go. Oh, I can't actually see where I'm going, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Can you not direct these? Uh, guys. <laughs> you can't direct these very well. Oh, no. <laughs> I've just fallen all the way back down. God damn it. Well, that's great, isn't it? <laughs> I did definitely see another explorer note up there, though. Let's go get it. There it is. Fantastic. What have we got this time? A Mosasaurus. Found a bunch of those in the freaking ocean and got freaked out by them, didn't I, huh? Right. Uh, is there a way to get off this rock? Like, can I, like, go over here? Is there, like, a way to get back? Uh. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, the good news is I managed to make myself another parachute, so here we go. Oh, jump off the edge. <laughs> oh, mate, parachutes are awesome. <laughs> if they had a little bit better directional control, then, uh, yeah, they'd be a pretty damn good thing to have at all times, no matter where you are. But aside from that, you know, it's still pretty good, man. It's still pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, we have actually completed this cave. And I'm feeling pretty damn good about it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I know I just said that, like, ladies and gentlemen, like, three times. It's like, it's like 1.10 a.m. in the morning for me right now. It's like the latest I've ever recorded. So, yeah, I apologize if I'm not being as, like, hyper as I normally am. Or as loud as I normally am, shall we say. I don't particularly want to be, uh, you know, waking up the neighbors and making them all mad. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode here. It has been an out-and-out -out success. I'm very, very happy, guys. A big fat thumbs up would be super, super appreciated if you guys enjoyed this episode. Hit that big old subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And, guys, I'm going to get myself the hell out of here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get ourselves back to base, take this dung beetle with us, and then... Uh, Reflect on our epicness. Oh, Jesus, God. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>